Hey there, Alex Kidman here, and this is a slightly different thing for me to be doing. It's the Diamonds and Pearls Super Deluxe Edition unboxing. As some of you may know, I'm a big Prince fan, so when this was announced, while Diamonds and Pearls is not my favourite Prince album, it was pretty much a, yeah, look, I will have that. And uh, it's finally arrived. Mine's a little bit late and I'm a little bit cranky, not just because of the lateness, but because as you can see here, it had an address label, which they popped directly onto the cardboard on the outside. And this, it does form part of the package. So yeah, I'm a little bit unhappy, not with Australia Post per se, but with Warner Australia for the way they've decided to ship these out. Um, don't think that's great given how much they charge for it, and they certainly do charge for it. This is the CD edition. I did not go for the LP edition because I'm not made of money. And if you've watched my prior unboxings, you'll know I very much do these off the cuff. So, case sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. I've just noticed the uh, digging on the edge there as well. So I guess this box pretty much is done for. I've also had to set this up rather ad hoc and rather more difficultly than I would have liked to because today I have also given blood. Now, this is your reminder, if you are able to give blood, it's a really, really good thing to do, but it sure does make setting these things up and lifting them and moving stuff around a little bit more difficult. So bear with me if I'm a little bit slow or if I suddenly go oof in the middle of things because my arm, it's not super comfortable. It's worth it though. Like I said, donate blood. So let's get into it. Um, I'm just gonna try and gently open it without damaging it because all I've done so far is take that rotten address sticker which still has me fuming off i'm just going to tilt it up for a second which means i think most of it will go out of shot yep but you can admire the funky um pattern artwork there give me guesses as to what that's actually meant to be looks like the old computer game life to me but maybe i'm just dating myself more than I otherwise would be with that statement. Now, is this enough to release the prisoner? No, it's not. Like I said, I'm doing this off the cuff and I haven't yet opened it. And this is exactly as it has appeared on my doorstep about three or four minutes ago. The guy delivering it, or girl delivering it, I don't know. I didn't actually see them. Uh, they just left it there. So not so happy with that either. Again, given the value of the package, I'm happy to have it, obviously. But uh, yeah. They could have done a better job with that. I am a slightly cranky customer in that regard. And that tape is being difficult. I did mention I was doing this off the cuff, and ow, finger, yes, you know, pinprick, blood test, all that, give blood. I, no, wait, I already did that bit. There we go, that has popped clear, which means I should now be able to get this inner cardboard sleeve out. Fascinating viewing, I'm sure. Or not. Or, oh, and then, that's the point at which I realise that there's also tape across the front here and it's all meant to kind of gatefold out. Bear with me, hope you're having a wonderful day and all that good stuff and that you're still watching. And oh, and now I realise it's also upside down, although I had no way of knowing that. So let's do the grand reveal. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, the new power generation. I think they were all over 30 by the time they actually existed. Still decent backup band of his. I think I'm more of a revolution guy myself though. And then we open up to discover it's then twisted around a further 90 degrees. So I'm just going to pull that out of the box and move the cardboard packaging out of the way because I only have so much space to film with and thump, there it goes to the ground. Okay, that is a nice, nice looking thing. I mean, their Super Deluxe Editions generally are. I've got the Sign of the Times one. That is my favourite Prince album. Uh, and um, Welcome to America, and the smaller 1999 one. I did not opt for the LP one because I'm not made of money, but it is seven CDs, a Blu-ray, and a book. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to getting into those. Now, can I just pull this plastic enough? Do I want to pull this plastic enough? Yeah, there's nothing else there. Although, interesting note, because I did see someone else's unboxing of this, which had like a belly band, a thing to hold this back slip on and the Australian ones don't seem to have it. So there we go. Um, you can possibly read the track listing there, but I mean, look, you can find this stuff online. I think the fans who know what this is, know what this is and the ones who don't, probably don't care. I hope my microphone's working. I don't know. Like I said, I'm doing this very much live and I'm just trying to see if I can get an edge on that plastic. There we go, there we go. Soon you'll be able to breathe my little CDs soon. 
Okay. So yeah, that, that, that back slip, without something to hold it in place, that is going to be a bit of a pain to keep in. Methinks it's going to slide inside this box real soon, like as soon as I've finished recording this. Okay, so we do have an externalized sticker there, which just details what's in it. I suppose I should probably keep that, but I'll put it to the side for the moment. We have the nice paper slip there. Again, a nice thing, not vital, but a nice thing. And I will keep that, but I am putting, whoop, don't bump the camera, Alex, bad mood. I uh, will put that to the side as well. And then we get into the meat and potatoes, or in this case, the diamonds and the pearls. I said before, Diamonds and Pearls, not my favorite, favorite Prince album. I think it's a very uneven album. There's, you know, some really great songs. I'm a big, big fan of Money Don't Matter Tonight, for example. Less so of something like Jughead or Strollin', but, you know, tastes can vary. Prince and the Power Generation, Diamonds and Pearls. Oop, things are already slipping and sliding out. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this is not good. That's not a good sign. I've only just opened that. I'm hoping there's something that's sliding around inside. We are a book. Do we have... Aha! No, that's the Blu-ray. Hang on, am I miscounting something here? I thought this was meant to be... Seven CDs and the Blu-ray, or is it seven CDs with the Blu-ray? Am I making a fool of myself? Yeah, no, this is meant to be seven CDs, and I'm only seeing six. Okay, you know how I said I was, like, not that happy? I'm, uh, I think, even less happy now. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay, um, what the hell? That's a disc. That's a disc, one, two, three. Excuse me while I lose my mind, people. Four. Five. And, oh, bumping the camera, but now I'm quite cranky. I'm just gonna stop this for a second and work out which disc is actually missing. Make sure it is missing. Okay, so I'm back, and this has taken a really awkward turn that I did not foresee in the least, in that the CD of singles and remixes and so on is completely missing. It's just not there at all. And, you know, you, you've watched the video. There's no cuts. There's no edits in that. It just weren't there. So I've got to chase Warner's Australia for their lousy packaging and missing discs. Well, this is going to be fun. Um, I guess I do have a few things to listen to. And uh, I can say, having a, had a really quick look at the book, it's really, really nice. Um, be genuinely curious, especially amongst Australian Prince fans, if... Anyone else has had this kind of problem before anyone says, hey, wait, there's a disc right there. That's the Blu-ray, and it is a separate disc. So I'm going to go off and do some complaining. Hope you're having a better day.